Hello everyone, I'm Miss Nicole. I am the first grade English teacher. So for this video, I'm going to explain our homework for the next two weeks. And I'm going to explain a book I'm going to send home as well this week. So in the packets that you got at orientation, and if you attended orientation, thank you very much. Greatly appreciated. If you have did, were not able to attend, please make sure you stop by the office, by the school, um, Monday or Tuesday morning and pick up your packets. So inside your packet, everyone got an English choice board. Here's what it looks like. So for each day your child is distant learning, they're going to pick two activities from this choice board. They're going to complete the activities and then you're going to send me a picture on Class Dojo. So the activities are This one says, find things in your house that start with B. So your student is going to look around the house and find things that start with the B sound, like a ball or a bed. They're going to put all these things in a pile and then we're, you're going to take, they're going to explain what they found to a family member and then you need to send a picture to me. This one says, act out your favorite book with family members. Um, so if your favorite book is The Very Hungry Caterpillar, then you're going to act out the story and pretend to be the caterpillar and eat all the food with your family or for your family. Um, the next one says use objects to make numbers. So you can use rocks, buttons, Legos, dolls, anything you have at home or that's outside that you can reach. Um, you could use food, Cheerios, rice, anything you want and you can make all the numbers and then I want you to practice counting the numbers. See how high you could go. The next one says read independently for 15 minutes. So I want you to read all by yourself for 15 minutes. This one says jar and, pic jar and label a picture of your family. Um, so I have some writing paper here attached to the board where you can do that on. Uh, this one is use sh objects to make shapes. So just like the numbers, you're going to use leaves or rocks or toys, whatever you have at home, and you're going to practice making the shapes. Squares, rectangle, triangle, circle, oval, star. And then you're going to practice saying them. This one says, draw a picture and write a story about something you did over the summer. So something I did was I went camping with my family. So I would write a, I would draw a picture. Oops, sorry, it's down. <laughs> I would draw a picture of me and my family camping, and then I would write I went camping. If you can write more than that, that's perfect. If that's all you can write right now, that's okay. It's what we're working on. Uh, where am I? Here it is. This one says find things that start with the letter M. So same thing like B, you're going to find things that start with mmm. What's some things in your house that start with mmm? Maybe um, a muffin or a moose or a mountain. Maybe you have a picture of a mountain. Hmm, you're going to have to get creative with that one. Uh, let's see. This one says write your first name five times in rainbow letters. So that looks like this. I have a word here. It says that in rainbow letters. So what you do is you write the word all in red, then write the whole word in yellow, then write the whole word in orange, and you go through all the rainbow colors like that. So you should see each color on every letter for every name. Just like this one. And you can do that. Oh, sorry. Um, I've included some writing papers. You can either use the horizontal one or there's a vertical page that you can write your name on. This one says, find power words in a book, magazine, newspaper, etc., whatever you have at home. Maybe it's a shopping, um, like a grocery store, um, catalog, anything. 
Then write down the words you knew. So, to find the to know what power words to look for, they're in your packet. They are on stuck together. The 1G skills card, they're on the back. So these are all the power words that they should be looking for. Um, you don't have to find all of them, but pick the ones that they know. And then, again, you can, they have to write all the words that they found on one of these line papers. Okay, let's see which one's next here. This one. Draw and write your own story. So again, I have a story paper in the back of this packet here so they can draw their picture and then write their sentences. If they are unable to write their sentence, then what they can do is if you could send a video of them explaining their story. Uh, so, for example, if their story was I went on a bike ride with my friends. We saw a lot of birds on our bike ride. They could draw their picture, and if they're not able to write any of that by themselves yet, then you could take a video of them holding their picture, and then they can say, I went on a bike ride with my friends, and we saw a lot of birds. Um, that goes for the something you did over the summer as well. Here we go. Uh, can you see it? There we go. This one says, write your first and last name six times. So that's just writing their whole name on some of the line paper. Uh, cut out shapes and use them to create a picture. So I have some examples here. So they use circles and triangles and rectangles to make these things. So they can just Cut them out on any paper. Um, it could even be a leftover newspaper or something that you're not using anymore like that. They could cut it out and then they need to glue it to a paper, which can be one of these if you need to, that's fine, and um, create something. They could create a house or a train or a boat, I don't know. It's endless possibilities. What can you create? I'm very excited to see all of these different creations. The next one says, read with a family member for 15 minutes. And then the last one says, use objects to make letters. So this is just like the number and shape one. Uh, they're gonna find things around the house and then they're gonna make all the letters of the alphabet and then they have to practice saying them and making the sounds. So there's one more thing in the packets when they pick them up on Monday or Tuesday that I will include. So I'm going to include this book. This book is called Maria Goes to School. There will be a point at the end of the day and we're going to send out a schedule for you as well so you can kind of see what they're going to do each day at home. Um, where it says to practice letters, sounds, read books, and this is one of the books they can practice reading. If you have lots of books at home, they can practice those as well, but I want them to practice this one too, okay? Um, and I'm going to make a video of me reading this book, and so they can read along with me, and then I want them to practice it every day. As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, you can reach out through the Kinvo messaging system, which I have reached out to you on. Um, so it's just that phone number, and it will send it right to me. You don't need that Kinvo app. Um, you can message me through Dojo, or I will also include my Google Voice number um, with this video. I hope everyone has a great day, and I'm so excited for this year.